This is Kathy Beal for the Suzy Guides. New York City has a reputation of being one of the finest dining capitals of the world, and you can get fantastic meals at equally fantastic prices. I'm standing in Manhattan's financial district in front of a building that once housed the legendary restaurant Delmonico's, which set a standard for lavish dining at very high prices. And even though you can still spend a small fortune on a meal in New York City today and have the trendiest, hottest new dishes and wait for weeks to get a reservation, it's still possible to eat on the spur of the moment for surprisingly little money. This is Stone Street, one short street in the financial district that packs a lot of history and a lot of great eating. This street has 15 small buildings, only four stories tall, surrounded by skyscrapers. All these buildings were built after a fire in 1835. They formerly housed small commercial businesses, and now it's almost wall-to-wall -wall restaurants. Even though there are fewer than a dozen restaurants on this street, you can get a surprising variety of food. Anything from grilled seafood to really good roast beef to Scandinavian food or Mexican food and of course some really great drinks. I'm at the Stone Street Tavern where I've just had a really nice pub lunch, some great shepherd's pie, and I'm talking to Lou who's the bartender here. Our restaurant has been here for about two and a half years. It's an Irish-owned uh, restaurant and we do pub fair. During the week, uh, you have your typical Wall Street crowd, lots of guys, uh, young people, and uh, we have an amazing happy hour. It's packed and it's, it's a lot of fun. Susie guys, Susie guys. It's a small, cozy, intimate street. When you find it, you feel like you found this secret that nobody knew in New York. It really feels like your discovery when you do find Snell Street. What could someone get from your pastry case that they wouldn't find somewhere else in Manhattan? An eclair for me is very important. An eclair or Napoleon, stuff that is you cannot find Anywhere. Eric's eclairs are very special. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like people say, well, when they look at an eclair, a cho chocolate eclair, they say, what's inside? Whipped cream? No, it is what you see outside is what is inside. Because it's the same customer who come here all the time. So they want to see something new, something different. If not, they're getting bored and they stop coming. Unless I talk, then they love my accent. <laughs> I'm getting ready to taste one of Chef Eric's legendary eclairs. 